Hello, how are you, how are you, and how are you? Anyway, this is uh, the product. Is it zooming in? Zooming in. And it has zoomed in. And um, this is, bizarrely, a monkey eating crisps. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> first things first, please do like, subscribe, share. Share amongst your friends. Now get them on board, get them on board. Let's, uh, let's have this as a community rather than just a review. Let's uh, hear what you have to say by um, commenting below. So, what am I reviewing? So, I was uh, having a bit of a walkabout, you know, uh, and uh, on the way there was a there's a bargain shop, and you could get this from uh, B B and M, the pound shop. Um, I believe you could even get them from Asda's. They're priced slightly different. I think they're a little bit cheaper in the bargain shops than they are in the mainstream supermarket. Anyway, this is it. Bibito. It's called. Um, I misread it before. I'm sure it was a double E, but apparently it's not Bibito. Uh, party mix. Fizzy gummy mix. Fuzzy gummy mix. So I hear hear you saying, hear you saying, wait a minute. Wouldn't that be a uh, haram? Wouldn't it contain animal bits and pieces? And as usually I would say yes. This one has the uh, palat label on it. So makes it safe. Inshallah makes it safe. As far as I know, makes it safe for me to consume. So yes, that's what they are. It's got a halal label at the back. I believe with this brand, everything's halal. Um, everything, not everything, but all their products, all their sweets are. Um, as far as I know. Anyway, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I've not spotted these, you know, the party mixes. Um, you know, it's got some unusual characters. Extremely unusual characters, don't you think? Anyway, let's pop this open. Give it a go. Oh, before I carry on, it cost me two English pounds. Two sterling, sterling pounds. So let's give it a go. So, this is it. How much do you get? How, how, how much do you get for your two pounds? How many crumbs? Let's have a bit of nosy. Let's wonder about. Oh, you get a 400. 400, it's underneath. The label's underneath. Apparently, that's how much you get. So, of course, it's a bit of a mix. So, which one do I choose? I don't know. I don't know. These ones. Um, watermelon. Watermelon ones. Um, let's keep it on going. It does have the artificial taste of a watermelon. It's got a good chewiness, a good burst of um, sugar. Um, now and then when I spot this brand, I do go for them. Is it because it's the only halal one? No, I think there is a couple of others I might review in the future. But, you know, uh, I tend to go for these. Uh, they're alright priced. Uh, a bit on the heavier side, but I presume, I feel 
it could be 50p cheaper and uh, still make a profit margin and it it'll be more uh, it would be more fairer if you if you like uh, it feel feel more fairer and um, y yes so but they are no, no, normally the ones I I go for I don't go for the party mix I've not seen them before it's the first time I've come across it and uh, something I've not noticed before is this something like this one and so it's uh, the sugary fizzy fizzy one with a little bit of uh, something in the middle that one was a bizarre one because it was fizzy yeah it had it had you know how you get the solid ones it had that flavor of the solid it might have just been a solid one yeah because it's been in here this uh, in a sense uh, being contaminated doesn't sound like a nice word but in this case it is contaminated with all the sugar and all the taste and all the flavors around it the lemon tastes like lemon let's put these away now otherwise I'm gonna munch all the way through these and you know what's gonna happen then o obesity and you know what diabetes as well so it's best to put them away you know everything in balance everything in balance and um, this is uh, the cola bottle it's not quite a cola bottle it's uh, a red bottle half red and half is it red pinkish and then blue and that was lovely and uh, then the worm looking one, I always call it, I always call it the worm, that was my uh, watch BP by the way, but n not necessarily is a worm, but I call it a worm because it looks like in the shape of a worm. That one is my favourite. This last one, I'll go for a loop. This is what I mean. You can't stop. Once you start popping it, you want to try another, another, another. It doesn't matter. It should be sugar high. carries on carries on carries on you just want to keep on trying and trying and trying that's the problem you don't stop munching away and um, before you know it empty box you know uh, enough sugar to rot your teeth and uh, you know um, health problems not far away so always uh, have to take yourself there anyway that's uh, been my review this week's kind of boring this review isn't it I'm going to do something to enliven it up a little bit because uh, it wasn't as exciting as I presume it would be you know I was excited about the sweets excited about the taste I think I'm being a little bit boring I have nothing really that I've said that's been interesting oh the fun that'd be um, you know something different anyway that's been my review do subscribe like share and uh, comment below let me know if it was actually a boring review anyway or you're gonna try them anyway toodaloo for now bye see you later toodaloo